gather round, children, gather round. It's story time with just the little writer. In case you didn't know, that's me. The choir boy. Frank opened his eyes and looked around. The entire room was pitch black. He couldn't even see in front of his own face. He's awake, he heard a girl's voice say. Frank wasn't sure where he was. He just knew that he had been riding his bike and rode too far from home. He got a flat tire and had to walk back. Don't touch him, another voice said. It was a boy. Frank tried to remember what happened. He recalled being followed by a slow-moving pickup truck. There was nobody around to call for help. It was getting dark outside and he was miles from home. The truck driver asked Frank if he wanted a ride. Frank couldn't remember if he said yes or no. The girl snickered. His pants are too short. Look, I can see his socks. Frank sat up and looked around again. His vision was better. There was no visible light source, but he could clearly see that he was surrounded by other kids. What the heck were they doing? Want to join our choir? Another girl asked. Frank shook his head and stood up. I have to get out of here. My parents are probably crazy by now. Come on, the boy said. You could use another voice. You know Amazing Grace, don't you? Frank nodded. Of course he knew that song. Everybody knew that song. Frank looked to his right and saw a flight of stairs leading up. He ignored the protests of the other children and walked up. The truck driver was sitting at a table with his back to the open door. Frank called out to him, but he didn't respond. Frank walked over to the table to see what the man was working on. He saw two arms, two legs, a torso, and a head, all in pieces. Frank went back downstairs to the basement, where the other children were waiting. He joined them in a heartfelt, amazing grace, while invisible tears ran down his face. <laughs>